Greetings, Mavuno. My name is Moredi Wanjao, or Pastor M, and I'm so excited this morning to just uh, be bringing you a greeting, uh, but also updating you on some of the things I'm really excited about in the year 2022. I mean, this has been an amazing year so far. God has done great things for us, but I believe that 2022 is going to be an incredible year for everybody here at Mavuno Church. Uh, we've been praying, and one of the things that we sense as your pastors uh, is that God is going to do four things. Uh, in 2022 for everybody who considers this their family. Number one, 2022 will be a year of spiritual growth, that we are going to grow incredibly, that, hey, you know what? You're gonna grow so much that the people around you will not even recognize you because of the growth God is going to bring. I believe as we pray together, as we read God's word, uh, 2022 is gonna be a year of incredible spiritual growth. It's also gonna be a year of culture shift. As we are focusing a lot on doing church as a family, I believe that 2022 is going to be a year when all of us enjoy church like we never have before. We're going to have a, just, just doing church as a family is fun as we're finding out already. And I believe that this is going to be an amazing year of just joy in this family uh, called Mavuno. Number three is that it's a year of church growth. I believe as we share our faith with our, worker, our workmates, our family members, that we're going to see church growth uh, that all the campuses uh, that are called Mavuno are going to grow. This is the smallest you'll ever be. And I believe that's going to happen in 2022. But finally, it's also going to be a year of financial freedom. Uh, we uh, shared uh, during the Vaccinate Your Money series that we believe that God wants every single one of us to be out of debt uh, by September next year. And you know what? It's, it's a prophetic word. I believe it's one we're taking by faith. And as we apply the things we learned in that series, I really want to, to trust God that we will all be celebrating debt freedom in all our campuses uh, by the end of next year. But here's the other thing I really want to, uh, to share as I conclude this, is we believe as we've prayed that God would also have us to be out of debt as a church uh, in that same timeline. Uh, we uh, right now owe uh, a considerable amount, about $1.4 million on our Hill City headquarter property uh, as a church. We, we, we took that uh, money out uh, as a facility, as a loan, uh, because based on the, uh, on, on the pledges that people had given to complete. And many were not able for different reasons to do that. And so in, despite having raised an incredible amount of money through the generosity of this congregation, we found ourselves uh, paying off this debt. It's uh, something that we've done every month faithfully. But I believe that next year, God wants us to accelerate this, uh, to be able to free the future of the church. Uh, the reason is because when we, when we pay off our debts, we free our future to do the things God wants us to do. And I believe that God wants us to get into a place where as a church, we are buying land for all our different campuses. We are settling, uh, we are sending out missionaries to different parts of the world. We are doing the work of the gospel unencumbered by any financial obligations. So how are we going to do this? Uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up that we're going to be challenging everybody at Mavuno Church next year to consider giving a fast food offering, uh, giving, a, uh, giving a sacrificial gift over and above their tithes and offerings uh, of at least one month's salary. And I'm going to be sharing exactly how we're going to do this and even the biblical uh, understanding behind this. Uh, but I wanted to give you a heads up just so that you're aware and you're already praying and thinking about that. So this is, we're gonna call this the Free the Future campaign. And you're gonna be hearing a little more from your campus pastor about this, uh, but I'm excited about it. My wife and I are already 100% uh, in. It's not the first time we've ever done this as a church. When we were a tiny church, just beginning in our first uh, couple of years, we had to raise $300,000 to move from the place we're in to go into a facility that was a lot better suited for the work of the ministry. And our small congregation, we challenged our congregation to do this. And not only did they faithfully do this, but God took the gifts we gave and multiplied them. And we were able to actually raise the money and to move to what became known as our Bellevue uh, uh, our facility, where Mavuno Church grew like it never had before. And I believe that this is what God wants us to do in this season. And I'm calling you to exercise your faith so that we can free our future together. So let me pray for us, even as we go into a time of giving. Uh, Father, I thank you for this church. I thank you for the generosity of this congregation. I thank you for every single fearless influencer, a call to be part of a Mavuno church in this season. And Lord, I just want to pray for us that as we trust you with our tithes and our offerings, as we even pray about next year and the incredible things you have for our spiritual growth, 
uh, uh, culture shift, church growth, financial freedom. I pray that all these will be our portion in Jesus' name. And I look forward to us celebrating the, the goodness of God, not just at the end of this year, but even uh, with anticipation for the even greater things that you're going to do for us in 2022. And so I bless your people as they give. Lord, as they give, multiply their own resources. Bless them so that they can be a blessing. We pray all these things, believing and trusting in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus and God's people say, Amen. Amen.